So welcome to part two of our iOS 16 update and I must say I love that cutout feature. The more I've used it and played about with it, it really is something that's quite special. But anyway, in this video, let's now look at this new feature, the iCloud, iCloud Shared Photo Library. Hello and welcome to this new feature, the iCloud Photo Shared Library. It's now available in iOS 16, it's now available in Beta 3. So I've had a bit of play about with it to show you. Uh, it does require setting up first of all, um, but the good news is it doesn't have to be your own family members, so it's not part of the family share, and you can actually choose five people of their own. So if you go to the settings app, and then if you scroll down to uh, the photos option here, and you'll see there that the library there, shared library, you can set up. Now when you do set up a shared library as the owner of that library, it actually uses your iCloud storage, not the other people's everyone else can contribute edit delete whatever they want in there but uses your own iCloud space up so let's press on the setup as you can see you can start setting up now to create this one shared library you can only have one shared library as well by the way you can't create multiple ones just the one at a time so you can start set up obviously from there you can press add participants I'm not going to do that now I'm going to do that later on I just want to show you how to set up the folder first of all so add later now you can choose here to add all your photos and videos. You can choose by a date, or you can just choose manually. I'm going to just press choose manually and press continue. And I'm just going to choose these first couple here and just press add. And now you have the option to preview that library. So we can preview that shared library. Just make sure it's all set up properly, uh, first of all. And as you can see here, it says change your library view. And that's this little icon here with the two people in. So you can change between shared library, personal library, or both libraries. But there you are, two photos are in there now. So that's now set up. So you can press continue at the top. Again, you can invite participants, but I'll do invite later. And you can also can choose to, when you take your photographs itself live, you can have them chosen to go straight into that folder, or you can choose to do so manually. So I'm going to choose share manually and then press done and hopefully that should now be set up. So when I go to my camera app now, let's just zoom in a little bit here. You can see in the top left hand corner there is that people icon. So if I take a photograph now, that just goes into my own personal library. But if I press that icon, it says it's shared library and I'll go straight into that shared library. And that is basically how it works. So when I can come back here to my Photos app, I can choose that shared library, and now I can see that extra photograph that I've taken there. Now and then it's syncing three more items to iCloud there as well over the Wi-Fi. So of course you can add people in as you go it, so you can choose up to five people. And that's basically how it works, the iCloud Photo Shared Library. So great for vacations and trips, or if you're collaborating on a work project or something like that, you can all access the same photos, edit, delete, and do whatever you want there. In fact, if we go back to the settings app, and the shared library now set up, look, you also see, you can also receive delete notifications. So if someone deletes a photo, you can get notified for that. And also you can delete the shared library altogether there as well. So there you go, that's a brief overview now of this other new feature for iOS 16 when it comes to photography, and that is the iCloud shared uh, photo library. Thanks for watching.